What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here and welcome to my top 10 tweaks part 12 video. So these are an amazing collection of tweaks. A lot of these, these are concepts that I've never seen before and it's really exciting sharing all of this new stuff with you. Now, of course, these are all compatible on the latest 8.1.2 firmware or jailbreakable firmware, as well as the 6 Plus, 6 and most iPads. Now, of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken in order to enjoy these tweaks. Sadly, Apple has taken away the ability to jailbreak with the newest 8.1.3 firmware. At the moment of making this video, it's still possible to downgrade. So you guys can go ahead and downgrade using this tutorial right here if you're on an unjailbreakable firmware. And if you guys haven't jailbroken yet, you can do that down here using these links. Of course, you do need to be jailbroken and it's worth it. There's so much cool stuff you can do. And with that being said, I do want to mention that a couple of these do need custom repos in order to install. So to get the sources, the full tweak list and the wallpaper I'm using in this video and some bonus tweaks, just click right here on that link. It'll take you to my website and the full list and all the sources, the wallpaper, everything will be there. All right, so this very first one I'm gonna be showing you guys is called Anchor. It allows you to move around your apps on your springboard and organize them in any fashion you'd actually like. So let me give you a demo real quick. Let's say I wanna move Cydia over here. Well, stock iOS just bounces it back, whereas with Anchor, you can now move it to any position that you like and it'll sit there. Now, using this, you can actually make for some really interesting patterns. For example, this right here, or I can remove the four in the middle make a really cool looking pattern. Organize your pages in any manner that you like. Now there's a tweak called I blank and it achieves pretty much the same effect, but it's not as easy to manipulate. So there's that right there. Now this is very similar to Gridlock, which was available for older firmwares, but this has been updated and it makes for some really interesting possibilities. Now settings are pretty limited inside. You know, you just have the option to enable it or disable it and you can see a preview of how your screens look. It's called Anchor and I would absolutely recommend this one. Now here's a tweak called Harbor. It allows you to put more applications down below in your dock, more harbor, more apps, as the name suggests, and it adds a Mac OS animation when sliding through them. So this is really cool. I like to see this on the iPhone. It's weird how some features from the computer make sense on the iPhone, but whichever one you last land on is the one that opens. So not only does it add that animation, it helps you see which application you're currently selecting. And if you want to move one, just slide it out like that and you can put it in just like that just drag it back in and it makes room for a lot of apps at the same time now the more you have you know you can actually magnify the zoom so it doesn't get harder to see in here let's say i magnify it to all the way up there now when i go back and run through them they'll bounce up even higher now this tweak also implements bounce notify inside of it so any tweak that has a notification will bounce when it's in here so a really well-made tweak and if you actually zoom in real close you can see the details it's a very well-made tweak the dock behind it Yes, yeah, you can see, it looks really nice. It's like round dock combined into it. And when you're inside another application, it'll bounce through like that. You can, of course, adjust all the settings in here. There's a lot to play with, but I definitely would recommend you guys download this and try it out for yourselves. Now, here's a camera application tweak, and I really like these. There's a lot to choose from, and I'm always excited when a new one comes out because Apple's application for the camera is pretty bare. There's not much feature-wise going on, but the latest tweak is actually a shortcut. So just double tap on the screen like that using tap, tap, flip, and it actually reverses the camera. So I'm using my front facing camera right now, double tap it and it flips back to the rear facing camera. Really convenient and this works perfectly on all iPhones, iPads. The only setting that is included for it inside of settings is just a setting to enable it on and off. I definitely would recommend it because it makes sense. If you're recording and quickly need to switch over to the other camera, it's faster, faster than going up here. Sometimes you miss, so you just double tap, flips the camera. Really cool. Now here's Canopy. It enhances your Safari experience and it makes it a lot easier to use. Now this is brand new and I would totally recommend it. So let me just show you a couple things that Canopy can do for you inside of Safari. Now say you just open up the search bar and it's blank and you actually have these two choices right now. An option for paste and paste and go. Now you can just paste the link you have inside or select it paste and go and it'll take what you have in your clipboard and currently go there. So that's just a couple of features and it already makes Safari better. Now, if you hold this guy right here for a new window, it automatically opens up a new window and you can change the behavior between, you know, take it out of your current tab and boot you into the new one or just open it in the background. Also, if you go out here, and you hold the done button, it'll clear all of the windows right away just like that. So you don't have to go individually and you know slide through them. So 
My favorite feature is that it opens up a new window by holding that. Number one thing I hate is having to click this and then clicking the new page right here. I mean, it's just so much better. Now, there are a couple more features I'm not mentioning, but it does make your Safari experience a lot better. And this little circle that you saw me moving around up here, it's called App Button. So first off, you can move it anywhere you want on your screen. And it's unobtrusive. It runs in the background. But when you click on it, it does open up the last application you were in. It's basically a super fast way to multitask. Now, hold it and drag. And as you can see, you can go through preset applications for quick multitasking. Now you can be on the springboard, you can be within another application, still have this dot here and be like, hey, I need to do this over here in a Safari and it'll take you there real quick. So you can choose which applications you see first and you can choose how long you want to drag it by putting as many applications as you want up there. Let me go ahead and show you the settings. So in here, you can choose which apps, you know, you can put so they appear in this list. As you can see, those apps that I have selected, they appear right here. You know, just to move one up there, you can just press them and they'll appear right there. And changes are immediate. So as you guys can see, I now have those apps up here and it'll scroll through them if you don't have enough space on your screen, like right here, as you guys can see, a really well-made app. It's been in development for a while. It's called App Button and I definitely would want you guys to check that out. Now this tweak is brand new. It's called Clean Lock and it's probably one of the best well-made lock screen tweaks I've ever seen. It keeps your screen clean. Now I just went ahead and sent a text message to my phone. It rang, but it does not appear on your lock screen. And this is because it tries to keep your lock screen clean. If you guys are getting a lot of notifications, it can make things messy, but clean log keeps everything organized. Just tap once on the side of your screen. And as you can see, all the tweaks you currently have a notification for are listed here. So if you select one and from here, you can use that notification and slide it. Now, what I love about this tweak is how subtle it is. It's very clean. It just matches very well with iOS 8 and it plays nice with a lot of other lock screen tweaks. So as you guys can see right there, it's really well made. You can actually clear them out just by sliding like that. It'll clear everything out. Clean lock keeps your lock screen clean while giving you a nice area to view all of your notifications in. Now here's CC scale. As you guys can see, my control center looks a little bit more spaced apart. It almost looks like an iPhone 6 Plus and I'm using an iPhone 6. Now if I go into here, I can choose the value at which it scales everything. And I had it at 90, so if I enlarge it, to the maximum and now I go here as you guys can see all of the buttons are blown up and it doesn't look very well because it's cut off I say 90 is probably one of the best places to be and basically change the size of the UI elements in your control center using CC scale now here's a pretty useful tweak it's called on tap music and it gives you music controls in your reachability area now you have to be within an application as you can see it gives you this really nice look for your music switcher and it puts it in your reachability now this does require a source and it still is in beta but I found it to be quite reliable let me show you how it works so activate it using reachability so you do have to have a song playing but activate it double tap to pause the song if you want to move on to the next song just slide like that and you know you can slide through them if you want to go back slide back twice and if you just want to restart the song you slide once and it doesn't give you a very long amount of time to stay there but it's a really cool way to switch through music now alongside on tap music here is pushability and this has a lot of potential what it can be used for so basically let me show you what it does when you enable reachability it now uses the opposite side of your screen to display it so it displays from the bottom and it doesn't change the timing or anything like that it just appears on the bottom what would appear up there now this is just one example i'm showing you guys but it has limitless potential you can use many reachability tweaks especially stuff like the nyan cat to have weather show in here or maybe even reach app i haven't tried it with reach app i think that'd be an interesting concept but basically just swap the area where reachability displays giving you more potential for other reachability tweaks now here's tage it brings multitasking gestures to the iphone now i find this an extremely useful tweak has been voted by many to be one of the best new ones to come out for ios 8 and by no means is it brand new, but it has recently been made and I finally wanted to show it to you guys. So let me show you some of the gestures you can accomplish using this app. Close applications just by sliding up and having them close just like that. Swap between applications in a very OXO3 like way. By the way, I am using a trial version. So swipe up from the edge of the screen and move through apps just like that. Super fast way to, uh, you know, multitask. Just go into other ones just like that. You know, just swipe up from the edge of your display and 
No, I wasn't trying to do that. Now lock your device if you're on the springboard, just like that, just by sliding on the edge of the status bar and swipe in between open applications just like this, just by swiping the edge of the display. And the cool thing about those settings is that you can enable on which part of the display it does allow you to slide like this or slide back like that. And I have mine set to the bottom quarter, as you can see right there. You can use two fingers if that's easier for you, two fingers to slide between apps and one to slide back. So there's a lot of potential in here. You can enable it, customize it just the way you like, get much better multitasking on the iPhone, very iPad-like, but even simpler, close apps, lock your display. It has a lot of potentials. All right, and guys, there you go. That's my top 10 tweaks part 12 video. I showed you 10 new tweaks, and there are more bonus ones down below in the description, as well as all the sources you guys will need to install these. This is actually one of my favorite collections ever. Right? In particular, I really like Tej. I like the app button and Anchor, which allows you to configure your display. That's a really cool one as well. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this latest collection of tweaks guys and i have plenty of other videos on my channel subscribe guys if you haven't already i've got a lot planned for 2015 and thanks for all of your guys' support enjoy the tweaks have a great day peace